In today's video, I'm going to show you how to live stream a pre-recorded video to either YouTube, Facebook or any other platform using OBS. So let's not take much time. Let's get started right now. What is going on guys? Sound Lab production tips and tools here helping you master live streaming. So the first thing you need to do, you obviously have to have your video ready, edited and ready to go, right? That pre-recorded video. Second thing, you need to get a copy of OBS. Right now, you need to go to obsproject.com. Again, you can just type in Google OBS and then search. It's going to show up. The first one is going to be obsproject.com if you on windows download the windows version if you're on mac download the mac version if you're on linux download the linux version just click on it follow the instructions super super easy once you have it downloaded a fresh copy of obs should look like this again I have mine already now the first thing we need to do we're going to create only two scenes the first one is a welcome scene that you're gonna show to people before your video start playing and the second one just that gives you an opportunity to kind of mess up in case there's some errors before you go live with your clean clean pre-recorded video and then the second scene is gonna be our pre-recorded video and that's pretty much it so what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead go to the first scene right here to the scene section here in obs and i'm gonna go hit the plus sign and i'm gonna call it welcome so to add an image we're gonna go hit the plus sign and then hit image and i'm gonna call it a welcome image and i'm gonna hit okay now go to browse and i'm gonna go bring in my welcome image that i've created before again it could be an image could be a video if it's a video it's gonna be a media source instead of an image okay and then as you can see the image is right here okay another thing you can do to spice it up you can add uh, some music just to play before you go live and to do that i'm gonna hit the plus sign and i'm gonna go to media source and then i'm gonna call it music just want some music make sure you have the rights to the music if you're wondering how to find the music they can legally use on your stream to avoid youtube touching you down or facebook muting your stream make sure you watch a video down below so click ok and then you want to make sure you loop it because you want the music to be looping go to browse and then i've got some music here that i have from epidemic sound link in the description if you want to know how to get that music and i've got i'm um, just gonna go bring in one of the files and hit ok now to be able to monitor this music because you need to know what's playing you can go under audio mixer advanced and then go to audio monitoring and then choose monitor and output that way you can actually listen to it and know how loud it is or if it's the right music whatever okay that's important the next thing is gonna be the d thing what we're supposed to be doing now we're going to add our pre-recorded video so you have your video ready everything is ready no problem i recommend to have your video ready in mp4 okay so you need to add another scene and then we're gonna call it video playback okay and then once we have it created i mean that scene we need to go plus sign here and then for this one we need to go where it says media source okay hit media source and then we're gonna call this one video okay and then hit okay and then now this is gonna be your choice you need to choose if you want to be looping it or if you want the video to just play and when it ends it's going to stop so this is up to you it depends on the kind of video the kind of live stream you want to do if it's just a one-time thing then it's one-time thing you don't need to loop it now if you want to be looping 24 7 kind of thing then you probably need to check the loop okay so you know what you want i don't know the purpose of your video again go to browse okay now for this one just gonna go browse find the video for me i've got this one right here okay so let's click on it open it i don't need to loop it and hit okay as you can see as soon as i have it there it's gonna start playing back no problem now for this one as you can see when you have the cursor on it you can have the control so as you can see i can play it i can pause it i can just stop it completely and then whenever i I want to restart it i can just click restart and it's gonna start playing i can also like scrub through to a section that i want okay but most of you i'm assuming you're just gonna have it like this okay another thing you need to do very very important again because the video has audio already embedded into it what you need to do you need to go to advanced under audio mixer and make sure you check audio monitoring and put it to monitor and output why because you need to monitor make sure the sound is going through everything okay so this way if i play the video what's I can going just... on guys in today's video i'm gonna show you how to live stream on youtube and facebook
see i can hear and actually listen to the video and make sure everything's good so now the audio is good and i've got my welcome scene so what you need to do now is before you go live you can hit this button right here right and you have the welcome and then the welcome scene kind of playing and then whenever you're ready you can actually go ahead and hit the video playback scene what's Boom. going on guys in today's video i'm gonna show you how to live stream on youtube and facebook at the same time either you're streaming in a facebook group or an actual facebook page this is gonna be possible and we're gonna be using obs and a cool play and just like that you're actually gonna be able to have your video playing back in obs now the next step is gonna be to go live either to facebook or youtube okay and what you need to do you need to go to settings and this is where you're gonna go to stream and actually set up if you're going to be going live to youtube you can actually go ahead and check youtube and connect your youtube account to obs and be able to go live if you're going to go live to facebook live you're gonna do the same thing choose facebook live and be able to go live on facebook okay however this is not enough okay to be able to go live and make sure you got all the settings right if you want to go live to youtube i have a video that i made specifically for that it's gonna show you how to go live to youtube with all the settings i need and make sure your stream is actually healthy in full hd 1080p and i'm gonna link the video right here and i have another video that i made specifically for facebook settings that you need to be able to go live on facebook and i'm gonna link that video right here and if you watch those two videos you're gonna be able to actually go live with your pre-recorded videos so make sure you check them out depending on which one you need and i'll see you there guys take care